Pterodactyl here, and it's February 1st, 2020, and we're going to start the engines of our fuel treatment experiment sponsored by ProPartsDirect.net and Aaron's Gravely. So for a quick recap on what we're doing here, we've got 10 of the same engines. Eight of them have the most popular fuel treatment out there on the market today. And two engines have just regular straight pump fuel in it. One with 87 octane, one with 93. The rest have 87 octane pump fuel in it. Now if you notice, I've been keeping track of the temperatures every day for the last month of January. And we've had a pretty mild winter here so far. We had one day that was 15 degrees. So now it's February 1st and it's 38 degrees out here today. So let's turn the switches on on the engines and uh, let's start them up and see if they all run. Whoa, whoa, Terrell, hold on. Don't start that engine yet. Don't you uh, want to talk about some of the comments from last month's video? A lot of people ask you questions. I think you uh, need to answer them. Yeah, we can address some of the questions. Sure. Well, uh, what do you got there, Jergenstein? Well, I've been looking at these comments, Terrell, and uh, a lot of them have been saying, why are you starting them each month? They're just going to start each month because you're exercising the fuel. Why don't you let them sit for like six months, then try and start them, and then see what happens? What do you, what do you think about that? That's a good question. So, since I actually own a repair shop, this is what I see all the time, every year for years. Carol, my snowblower won't start. I don't understand why it won't start. I've been starting it all summer long, once a month, and now all of a sudden it doesn't start. Or they'll have a generator. I've been starting my generator once a month. Now all of a sudden it won't start. Yeah, you know why? Because when the gas is sitting, it is still getting old. It's decaying. It's deteriorating. Think of it this way. What if you bought a loaf of bread and each week you ate one slice of bread out of there? How many weeks are you going to go before you get one of them pieces of bread that's all green and moldy and stale? The same with gasoline. Plus, why would I let these engines sit for six months? I want to know at what time these engines are going to fail. How do I know that this engine wouldn't start after two months? Or this engine wouldn't start after three months if I sit there and wait? I want to know which ones are going to fail month by month. So there's the answer to that question. All right, Jergenstein, what's the next question? I keep seeing this comment a lot. Why aren't you using non-ethanol pump fuel in your little experiment here? What's up with that? That's a good question. Terrell, why haven't you used any non-ethanol fuel in your experiment? I don't know what video you were watching last month, but one of these engines has ethanol-free four-cycle fuel. You know what that means? It means it's got no ethanol in it. It's ethanol free. And I kind of think I took the alcohol tester and tested it to make sure there was no ethanol in it. So there's your non ethanol fuel right here in front of you the whole time. Don't you feel foolish now? <laughs> I think you're missing the whole point of this experiment, Eladia. This is what normal, everyday people do, okay? That's what the experiment is based on. Did you know that 90% of the fuel sold in the United States has 10% ethanol in it? That means 10% of the country is selling non-ethanol fuel. So 90% of the people are using fuel with ethanol in it. So that's why we're doing this experiment. We want to know what works and what doesn't. All right, I've seen this one on here a couple times. People are concerned about your health. Why aren't you operating these engines in a vented shed? 
even though we're in a vintage yet. Okay, I appreciate your concern about me running these in this metal shed. And I understand that, you know, you're only getting to see this much through the screen. So you really don't get to see the whole operation here. But trust me, this shed is very well ventilated. There's plenty of ventilation under the door. There's vents at the ridge. There's vents at the top of the doors. And then when we do run them while we're filming, we actually open the doors. So, yes, to address your question, it's, it's heavily ventilated. I understand what carbon monoxide can do to you, trust me. I don't want to die of carbon monoxide poisoning. So yeah, don't worry, we're, we're taking in consideration safety. Okay, well is that it Ronnie? Got any more questions? Nope, that's it, carry on. All right, but before we start the first engine, let's take a look at the fuel after one month and see if we have any discoloration. Looks the same. They all pretty much look the same. I don't see any discoloration. If anything, maybe just a slight tinge, because this is the vented one, and this is the sealed one. But they all pretty much look like the color hasn't changed. Well, it's only been a month, so you gotta figure, they're not gonna change that, that quick. Took a few pulls on the old 87. Switch it on, pull out the choke. One, two, three, four. VP, ethanol free. Kind of rhymes. VP, ethanol free, K100. Here we go. One, two, three. about four or five pulls. One, two,
started at three pulls. Good thing these engines got a choke on them because they're a little cold blooded and you gotta choke them. Switch on, choke, stent shield. One, two, three. Shield number seven. One, two. Ethanol shield. Stable 360, you're up. One. on two fulls. Gas Guardian number nine. Was giving us a little surge in last uh, month too. Startron, you're last. Whoa. Well, there you have it. They all started, which we knew they would. It's only been a month. So tune in next month for March when we come out here and start them again and we'll address more of your comments. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Tarot Fixes All. 
Follow me, Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, buy some Carol apparel. You could be wearing this while you're watching me start the engines next month. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! February 2020 fuel experiment! All engines started! Sponsored again by ProPartsDirect.net and the Aaron's Corporation, or company, whatever they're called. Aaron's.